She life is good right now. So this is where the fence is gonna go. As you can see, it's very short. Grandpa for reference, the man is 4'2 also. Just kidding. That's four feet, that yellow thing. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. In this one, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to build a jasmine wall uh, structure for it. So I'm gonna be using five beams, some wire mesh that I got from Home Depot, and then some concrete down at the footings. And I'm gonna staple the whole wire mesh using my stapler. So let's get into it. The first thing we had to do was cut this concrete tube to shape. So we're gonna do about five inches. All right, after five perfectly even, round, symmetrical cuts, it was time to dig some holes. And if you disagree with that, that one's for you. Now that we've cut our circles, we've spaced them all four feet apart, and there's the jasmine that started it all. The inspiration for this project. This is going to be the welded wire fence I'm going to be using. I'm gonna double it up to make it six feet by 16 feet. And then I'm going to be using these treated uh, fence posts that I also got at Home Depot. I'll leave a full parts list down below in case you guys wanna do the same thing. So we put the round molds in there, measured them all out, and five holes later, we're good to go. Next, it was time to mix up some concrete. All right, just making sure it's level before I start putting the concrete in. It looks good. One, two, three, four, five holes later. Time to let it sit overnight. Yeah, yeah, estoy metiendo overtime. All right, now that the concrete has had time to cure overnight, it's time to remove the uh, fixturing I did to keep it level. Uh, I don't know if you guys can count, but one, two, three, four, five, six. I added one more last night. That way when you walk out, you will fully be engulfed by the jasmine wall. The next step after the concrete had cured was to fill the holes in with the dirt that we pulled out. A little bit of cleanup work. In order to make it easier to hang the mesh, I put a nail, I'm sorry, a screw at the top of every post. So it's just easier while I'm stapling it in. Now that the first layer is up, I'm gonna staple that one in and then I'm gonna cut another piece and do it down at the bottom. Now that both layers are installed, I just use some UV uh, or outdoor rated zip ties to tie that seam together so they don't split open. So after a quick little haircut on this one and extending it out, you can see it filled out that section pretty nicely. Uh, make sure to hit subscribe and in about six months or so I'll do an update. Alright ladies and germs, the rest of them are in. And as a last touch, I added these solar lamps that I got off Amazon. So check the link in my bio for all that stuff. And here is what that looks like at night. Oh, man. That was a lot of work. It took up half my Friday afternoon and a good amount of my Saturday. Let me not lean because it's not my first take. But hey, for my first time doing the jasmine wall, I think it looks pretty good. Go. Tell me everything I did wrong in the comments. Thank you.